Hey guys, you're back with Feynman Education and today we are going to cover um, our topic from IAL Economics Unit 1 and the topic for today is Maximum and Minimum Price. So it is a fairly straightforward topic and basically let's go on with the definitions first. So um, Minimum Price is basically a price floor set by the government. set by the government below which prices cannot fall so minimum price is like minimum wage so minimum wage is basically the wage floor set by the government below which wages cannot fall and minimum price is for the pricing part of the industry so for minimum price the diagram is basically like this so this is the quantity price demand supply this is the pe as an equilibrium price now minimum prices are usually set above the equilibrium so minimum prices are set where prices are perceived to be um low so that's why the government sets a price above the equilibrium price level which is the price floor and below this prices cannot fall so it's evident from the diagram when a minimum price is being set with higher prices producers are willing to supply more so q2 for example with higher prices consumers are willing to buy less say q1 and the amount Q2 minus Q1 is my excess supply or surplus, whatever you call it. So when the minimum price is set, because the prices are higher, suppliers are willing to supply more, consumers are willing to buy less, and there will be an excess supply in the market. And then we, let's talk about maximum price so maximum price is basically the exact opposite of minimum price it is a price it is a price ceiling set by the government above which prices cannot rise So basically maximum prices are set when the government thinks that the prices existing the equilibrium price existing in the market is too high so the government intervenes and sets the price lower and imposes it to be a maximum price and the prices cannot basically go above it so the diagram for maximum price is almost the same this is my pe now uh, maximum price is set below the equilibrium at this point since prices are now lower suppliers tend to supply less since prices are lower again consumers demand more and therefore q2 minus q1 is now excess demand or shortage so basically what we need to remember is minimum price creates excess supply maximum price creates excess demand all right now let's discuss an essay question so essay questions can come in the form of either minimum price or maximum price and right now I'll just discuss an example of maximum price and the reverse will be true for minimum price example so um a question can be that um maybe the price of gas and electricity has been very high and the government 
is trying to impose a maximum price on it and the maximum price will be below the equilibrium price which is perceived to be so high so we are asked to evaluate the likely impact of an introduction of maximum price for gas and electricity so evaluate the impact evaluating the impact of maximum price for gas and electricity in their industry so for, to start off we are going to start off as usual our answer by writing the definition of maximum price so we will write how maximum price is a price ceiling set by the government above which prices cannot be charged as I've already mentioned over here so um, the government is trying to protect so the purpose of setting the maximum price is that the government wants to protect the consumers from being charged very high prices for something which is a necessity such as gas and electricity so This is the point you'll basically elaborate saying the government the government's motive to set the maximum price is so that it can protect its consumers or citizens from being charged very high prices for a necessity product such as gas and electricity then we can offer our diagram diagrams in these sort of answers are pretty important because you have you can explain the diagram if you draw it and it gets you more marks so it's the same diagram that I drew above. Be sure to label them properly. So it's a maximum price. It will be set below the equilibrium. All right. At this price, the supply will be here and the demand will be here. QD minus QS is my shortage or excess demand. So now we are going to explain the diagram. We will say how the price charged falls from PE to P max the price charge falls this leads to a decrease in quantity supplied and an increase in quantity demanded because of which the market faces excess demand all right so now that the market faces an excess demand there excess demand is a problem because you don't have as much as you demand Plus, another point that we can write is since price is lower and quantity demanded is higher, supply is high, uh, lower, therefore consumer surplus will increase. Consumer surplus rises because price is lower but producer surplus decreases. the same argument and then because consumer surplus rises and producer surplus decreases the total revenue for gas and electricity providers will fall total revenue will fall and profits for suppliers will fall right because because um, producer surplus decreases and price also decreases and then there can also be another point which you can write is since producer surplus in this market is seen to be decreasing with decreasing revenue and decreasing profits 
other firms will not be likely to invest in this market or other firms will not be likely to join this market or join this industry therefore uh, it may lead to a further shortage in the future because supply will keep on decreasing. All right. These are the analysis points not too much and these will gain gain you a total of eight marks no 14 marks eight marks is for your evaluation and then we move on to our evaluation evaluation is pretty straightforward in these sort of answers so it's for eight marks we can write three and explain them there it's gonna be fine so uh, the first evaluation point is the government may face um, problems identifying the exact amount of maximum price that they should set in order to eliminate all the issues in the market so there might be a measurement problem they might not know what is the exact and correct amount of um, minimum price that we have to set in order to offset all the problems in the industry and then another evaluation point is the magnitude all these effects that we wrote in our analysis part will depend on the magnitude of the maximum price that has been set if the magnitude is lower if the change in magnitude is lower then the effects will be lower if the change in magnitude is very high, the effects will be high. So it depends on the magnitude of change in price. Another common one is time lag. So effect will depend on for how long the change is taking place for. And another important point is if the government sets a maximum price today, the effects will not come into view tomorrow or day after tomorrow. It will take time for the effects to come in place. So there is a time lag between the government setting the maximum price and for the effects that we analyzed over here to take place. So things will not be so rapid. Things will not happen overnight. It will take time. are enough you can also write a fourth one which is what we talked about before so demand for um, gas and electricity is supposed to be inelastic so PED will be less than one which means inelastic because as I've said it's a necessity product so even if prices decrease consumption may not decrease more than proportion consumption may not increase may more than proportionately because it is a necessity product a decrease in price will not necessarily mean that oh you'll be consuming a lot more of gas or a lot more of electricity you'll be consuming pretty much the same or maybe a slightly higher amount but it's not going to drastically change so that also matters so there might be a little change in quantity demanded So it might not mean it might not really make that big of a difference so these are the four evaluation points it will gain you eight marks and that is basically it this is a fairly easy topic and you'll do the exact same thing for a question that asks for the effects of minimum price just the exact opposite so that's it keep practicing and we'll see you next time